Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is um, the second video for the series of Let's Make a Journal. On this series, I will be, or this video, I will be sharing with you what um, supplies you're going to need for our next um, video um, for making the signatures. Now, signatures are these little booklets. See, is it like a booklet here, two, three, and says we're going to be making three signatures for our journal. Um, I need you guys, if you're craft, crafting along or if you want to make this journal along with me, to get a total of 20 pages to put, I'm sorry, 30 pages to put into these signatures. Now, what are you going to get? Let me show you. Now, I am going to use for the journal that I am working on in this series some tea dyed paper. Oh, sorry about that. Some tea dyed paper, and this is regular colored copy paper. This is a journal that we are making. We are not making a junk journal. We are making a journal, um, meaning I'm not using quote unquote junk to make this journal. Um, that will be my next series if you want to stay tuned to my channel, but this is a journal. So just like I did here, the basis of the, the signature is paper. Um, this one, I use a digital kit, and that's why this is white. And this is the digital kit that I printed on cardstock, and I use that part of my signature. And so let me show you what you can use as part as your signature, the, pa the little booklets uh, to make your little booklet. Now, I'm going to use tea dyed paper. This is 24-pound um, coffee. Uh, tea dyed paper that um, I tea dyed. This is just regular copy colored paper. The regular um, weight, this is thicker. Um, this is a um, kit, a digital kit. And what's a digital kit? It's um, graphics, right? You would see this and you could print it out in your printer. I did trim off the little edges that it comes with. Um, but this is something you can use as part of your signature, as part of the, the 10 pages times three, because we're making three little booklets or three little signatures um, in our journal. You can use a digital print that you print out on cardstock. You can use the paper. You can use scrapbook paper. This is a 12 by 12. We will trim it down. I will give you the measurements. Um, this is just regular paper, like those pads. Um, it's not cardstock. You can use a printed cardstock paper. Let me see. Let me just take one out of this <clears throat> kit that I have here, collection kit that I have. This is from Illustrator Faith. I just have this little kit happen to have it here. And this is a 12 by 12, but you don't need it. Um, what I use for my journals, um, I usually use uh, eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. If you have the 12 by 12, just cut it down to a regular size sheet of paper, which is the eight and a half by 11. You can use your paper trimmer, or you can just use um, a regular copy paper as a template, put it down. Take your pencil and then cut it out with your scissors in case you don't have a paper cutter. Um, so you can use this. You can use the paper, the scrapbook paper that's only one sided, the paper, the thin paper. You can use a cardstock that is double sided so you don't, it's already quote unquote colored for you or it has some stuff on it. Um, you can use the single sided, it doesn't matter because uh, I'll be showing you when we decorate our journal. But for me, I will be using this pink colored um, copy paper and coffee dyed paper. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to put it um, together. Like I said, this is 8.5 by 11 um, paper. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay. 
So um, you're going to need them in group of tens. So you're gonna take your eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, meet up the corners and fold it in half just with your finger. And then you're going to do that. Meet up the corners with your finger. So you're going to have um, your booklet. Make a little booklet. Now what you're going to do is take your sheets of paper and put them inside of each other. Now I do not recommend that you just take the papers and then fold them in half because you're gonna see this. See how it fans out? You're gonna see it. If you just take the, the whole wad of papers, for example, the 10, and do this to it and put it down, um, you won't get, um, your journal won't lay as flat. So I, I recommend that you take every sheet of paper, fold it in half, with your finger and do that and then take every sheet of paper and put it inside of each other. Now what I'm doing for my journal, this is my journal, this is how I'm choosing to put it together, is I'm doing a tea dyed paper and then I'm doing the copy paper. I'm alternating tea dyed, coffee, tea dyed, I mean I'm sorry, tea dyed, copy paper, tea dyed, copy paper. And so this is what 10 sheets look like, and you're going to need three of them. Right, so. And I use big paper clips, little paper clips to keep them together. And this is what it looks like. So these are my three signatures, my three little books that I'm going to do. So. Then what you're going to need is you're going to need a paper cutter. Oops, oh, I'm so sorry. I moved my iPad and now it went kaput. Sorry about that. For you that are motion sick like me when that happens in the video, I'm sorry, I apologize. Okay, so this is what you are gonna have. This is what you all are going to have. And because I do this all the time, I have my measurements of, oh my goodness, where is it? I had it this morning. Oh, right here. Of what um, I need to cut my paper to. So you will need a paper cutter. If you don't have a paper cutter, you can use a ruler and an X-Acto knife. And I'll tell you why in a minute. So, because I use this cover all the time, I already know that I need to cut my paper at 5 inches wide by 8 inches long. So, how do we do that? Let me show you. Remember how we um, folded them in half and put them inside of each other? See how this has overhang and it kind of like stares? It's staggered that way. So... We're going to need it 5 inches wide, so I'm using my paper cutter and I'm putting it at 5 inches wide. And I'm going to put this down, make it flush. I'm going to put this little handle down. And I'm just going to trim, but I saw that they moved. Make sure that they're squared, you know, aligned. You're going to trim them anyway, so uh, 5, you're going to squash it down. Now, what I suggest is that you put it all the way through and then you then you go and you go to the five okay so then you're gonna hold this down and you're gonna take your paper cutter and go down up and down try not to move this because then you will get frayed edges so I just move it up and down I hold this down and it's gonna cut because I am dealing with tea dyed paper, um, it fluffs up the paper. So I'm just going to pick it up and I'm going to go back and put it on the five, flip it over. It also depends if you're using cardstock, all that stuff, the thickness. That's why I'm turning it over. And you're going to do the same thing up and down until it cuts all of them. If you have a paper cutter, that's how easy it is. If you don't have a paper cutter, you're going to take 
your ruler and you're gonna measure five inches across and you're gonna mark it right and mark it and then you're gonna take a pencil and you're gonna mark it then what you're gonna do is you're gonna leave this ruler here take your exacto knife which I don't have I have one I just don't have it here and you're just gonna do the same thing you're gonna cut down and down and down until you get through the whole booklet so you can do it if you don't have it.